Hello from Idaho. I'm doing a little fork maintenance on the Scout. And since it's a 2018, um, it has the cartridge type forks. And you need a fork compressor, a spring compressor, to get them apart. Um, they're about $200 from Scout and other places. So I decided to make one. Um, I'm not the type to bore you with the measuring and the drilling and whatnot, but here are the major pieces. This piece captures the spring um, and uh, slides up and down this long piece. The long piece um, has a whole bunch of holes in it so that the bottom can bolt to it. The bottom goes up in the bottom of the in the bottom of the fork. Um, and that's where you get the pressure to uh, compress the spring. So this piece will bolt on here, depending on how long your shock is. Um, I have a scout now, but I might not uh, have a scout forever, or more than likely, it'll be used for friends' bikes. On this end, we have a threaded hole and a threaded rod with a point on it and a welded on nut. Okay, here's the finished spring compressor hooked to the fork. The fork is in a fork holder, fork clamp. And uh, there's a drain pan. Down here we have the uh, fork bottom holder couple of knurled knobs to make it easy to move up and down. The uh, spring retainer, or the spring clamp, goes into the coils. In this case, the coils are um, look like a right-hand thread. But if you take this piece here, and slide it off the long shaft and turn it uh, turn it over then um, the uh, tensioning bolt will push on this piece here and the uh, part that holds the spring uh, will work for coil springs wound the other direction. This piece right here just makes it a positive uh, entrapment of the coil spring. There's no way for anyone to get hurt. The spring can't ever come loose. And if you've ever been around a spring compressor that let go, um, it is a it can be a dangerous situation. So anyway, we uh, we turn the bolt um, and it pushes down this sliding part, which pushes down on the coil spring, and push, gets the spring low enough, gets the spring low enough that we can put a, a wrench on a little nut that's right up underneath the cap. That's the arrangement for the Scout. Um, there may be other arrangements for other forks, but the spring con compressor doesn't care. So I'm going to compress the spring a little bit. By turning the bolt, the, uh, t the tensioning bolt. And you can begin to see space open up underneath the fork cap 
and you can see the bolt that we need to get to or the, the nut that we need to get to so that we can take the fork cap off. And that's, in a nutshell, is how a spring compressor works. It uh, isn't a complicated rig. But if, if I were to have bought this from uh, Motorcycle Tool Supply or Indian or whatever, the spring compressor would have been in excess of 200 bucks. And uh, <clears throat> the ones you buy don't have this positive spring entrapment. You can actually uh, have the spring come loose on the factory units. So I'm pretty happy with the unit. The only thing I have invested is uh, maybe a dollar in this long 12-inch all-thread. I welded a nut on the end to turn it into a bolt. And it's half-inch, so even though an all-thread isn't the greatest steel, it'll provide more than enough strength. I hope this helps someone else when they go to build a spring compressor. Or maybe it helps someone else when they go to buy a spring compressor. So, goodbye for now from Idaho. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you like or dislike my video, please select the appropriate button and let me know why. I really appreciate comments and I will answer every one. If you're new to my videos, please select the subscribe and the notification bell to get more videos like this.